Hi, I'm Chris Peacock, and this is The Vampire Diaries, Season 1, Episode 15, A Few Good Men. So in the last few episodes, uh, things really started to pick up pace-wise. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, better take a drink before I get going here. So anyway, the door has been opened, and Catherine wasn't inside. Uh, however, Anna did get her mom out, so um, at this point, looks like she won. Um, I mean, I, I don't really think she was a villain. I mean, she kind of was. She was an antagonist, but she wasn't really a villain. Um, she didn't have any real feats of villainy that were any worse than anything Damon's done so far this season, so. Anyway, uh, Catherine was apparently free this entire time and just didn't care enough about Stefan and Damon to say anything, um, which I find hilarious and completely in character from what I've seen of her, uh, which is admittedly not that much. So anyway, Damon's a little uh, upset. Stefan didn't seem to care. Um, Elena, um, I, I still want Elena to have some kind of interaction with Catherine. I, I, I know it'll happen eventually. I just don't know when. Um, so my prediction that, uh, Catherine would be coming out of, uh, coming out, uh, in the season finale is completely wrong. Even if the season finale is when she finally appears in the present time, uh, that still means my prediction was wrong, because that's not how she's appearing. She, I was figuring that it would take them until the season finale to even get the door open and get everyone to... At this point... <clears throat> not at this point. Prior to last episode, my, my hypothesis was that the door would get opened in the season finale... I wasn't sure whether Anna and her mom would come out or if they or if Anna would just get killed. I'm glad she didn't get killed. Hopefully she doesn't come back and get killed. I mean I don't care if she comes back, but I don't want her to get killed if she does. Um So yeah, my thought was that's when it would get opened. Anna and her mom may or may not get killed, but Catherine would definitely be coming out. But we wouldn't really get any scenes of her interacting with anybody because it would end the season would end, and we'd go into it next season. So that's completely wrong. Uh, last episode completely ruined that, and I'm not complaining, because that really wasn't anything I was looking forward to. I mean, I kind of was. I was looking forward to the interaction of Catherine and Elena, but I can still get that anyway, no matter how Catherine comes into the show. So, no complaints that my hypothesis was wrong. Um, I'm still glad I made the hypothesis, that it, and that it was wrong, because I correctly guess a lot of things. So it's ref a little refreshing that I got something wrong. <laughs> uh, yeah. If I was right all the time, it'd get boring. Like, I'd be like, okay, this show's just this predictable. Yep, yep, see? that, that That's what I said would happen, and it happened. It's, but, so see? That didn't happen, so I'm happy. Anyway, I'm going to get into the episode... Um, someone was at my desk while I was at work and everything's all messed up. Anyway, start the episode. Oh, I forgot. There was a vampire that got out. Or, no, he didn't get out. Did he get out? He did get out. I remember that vampire got out and I was questioning it last time. For people that uh, are on YouTube, I got some candy while we were in the recap. Uh... Yeah, um, that vampire got out, but the whole thing was the witches, uh, Bonnie and her grandmother, uh, the seal should have been back up on the door, so how did that vampire get out? And I was questioning that last time, and I'm sure the show will explain it, but as of right now, I'm still questioning it. I just forgot about it. It's 2010. You okay? I'm actually glad to know, too, because I've been wondering. What's your name? You seem like a very nice person. I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Ah! 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 
seemed like a very nice vampire. You said that you would do some digging about them. The adoption? All right, so did you dig? I've come to the conclusion that Mom. her father probably was a Gilbert. Your dad kept everything from his medical practice. Records, logs, Maybe not. old appointment books. Not necessarily her dad, but... Oh, uh, well. Okay, I guess he would be her dad, but not uh, not Jeremy's dad and her dad that raised her. Although, maybe. But, uh, I don't know, maybe some other distant relative. Because they were talking about Gilbert Blood. That uh, Anna's mother needed Gilbert Blood. And Elena's blood still worked. So, I mean, I really don't know if it worked. Because she was definitely still weak. Like, maybe if it had been the Gilbert blood, she just would have been 100% ready to go. I mean, I know I said this last time, but I'm just reiterating it. Um, so right now, because we know that... Uh, Elena's mother is a Pierce, even if her last name wasn't Pierce, because I, mean, I don't know, because, uh, you know, that many generations, you, taking on father's last names, who knows what the last name would have been, but so in some way, in the Pierce line of the bloodline, I wonder if the mother looked like a cat, oh no, she might have looked like Catherine. See, right now I'm not sure if it's uh, the teacher's wife or not. <laughs> um, because I know they have the same first name. Because they, the show made a point to tell us that. But tons of people have that. Like, my name is Chris. I know a bunch of Chris's. So if your dad's name is Chris, sorry, it's not me. I don't have any kids. So, yeah. Just because they have the same name. Now, the show made a point to tell us, but that could have been a misdirect. So anyway, if she looked like Catherine, Damon probably would have known that and not killed her. <laughs> or maybe killed her because of that. I don't know. Of course, I actually don't know if Damon actually is the one that killed her or if he was just remembering wrong. Because that, that flashback was through his eyes. All right, now, now I'm kind of going off topic. I mean, it's at least still... The topic is Vampire Diaries, so I'm not really off topic, but I'm off topic of the point that I was making about Elena's father being a Gilbert, in my assumption. Isabel Peterson. Do you think that's her real name? Pregnant teenage runaway? Probably not. First name, maybe. But where'd she get Peterson? Classmate, best friend, so... I binged it. I searched for all the Petersons in Why'd this area bang it? in the same years as... Isabel. She was a cheerleader. <laughs> that photo looks incredibly photoshopped. There. This is her address. Mr. Saltzman, Rick, his wife was from around here. And her name was also Isabel. Wait. Was as in... She died. Elena, did Jenna... Tell you anything I don't about think that would mean Alaric is the father. she died? In fact, I'm Just pretty she sure. she was killed and the case was never solved. You told me some things about her death. Well... No, no, no. It's not possible. Well, coincidence is... It's too much. Listen, if you do decide to go talk to Isabel's friend, I'll go with you. I'm fine. Why wouldn't I be? It's been the last 145 years. with one goal. Get in that tomb. I succeeded. Granted, Catherine wasn't in there to be rescued, but why dwell? Still a success. So not Set out to do something plan. and you did. Because I can do whatever the hell I want. There was a woman mm -hmm. you may have known a few years back named Isabel in North Carolina at Duke. You want to discuss the women of my past right now? Seriously? You killed her. What's your point? I just, just want to know if you remember anything about her. We have this entire house to ourselves. I mean, it's practically a bachelor pad. And? So, shouldn't we do something a little bit more bachelor patty? Well, I don't know, you're watching sports. Really That's nice. pretty bachelor patty. Oh, God. Not on my couch. 
mom. <laughs> hey. I was literally about to say, is the mom that's never here going to suddenly I don't be know. here? It's just weird, you know, me being raffled off like a Disney cruise. In this town, Show beat me to it. Well. Elena recently found out she was adopted and she's been looking for her birth mother, whose name is Isabel. Isabel? Like my wife? Uh, Isabel never had a baby. This is Elena's birth mother. She, uh, she never told me. Okay, it was her. I, uh... My name is Elena Gilbert. I wanted to talk to you about Isabel Fleming. Well, I haven't heard that name in years. How do you know her? I think that, um, well, do you know if she had a baby that she gave up for adoption? I was just going to make some tea. Would you like some? Sure. Uh, the kitchen's this way. Did that count as an invitation? I mean, I know Elena's not a vampire, but... The girl made sure to look carefully at Elena crossing the threshold. Like she suspected Elena might be a vampire. But I would have took that as an invitation into the house, so I don't know. Even if Elena was a vampire, couldn't she have just gone in? Maybe I'm overthinking that. I might just be overthinking it. Do you have any idea who my father is? I could never get her to fess up. Is that the truth? Anyway, she... You hesitated. Okay, who are you texting? No, it's been a few months. Where you been? Here and there, never one place too long. You know Pete. No, actually, I don't, because you never brought him around. <laughs> you heard from Vic? No, but don't worry. She'll come home eventually when she needs something. I played that game. Are you playing it now? No. Then what are you doing home? You trying to say I need a reason to come back? What does Elena know? <sighs> about your wife? About everything, about you, your brother. She knows what I am, and she knows that you know about the vampires. Does she know about Damon and Isabel? No. I'll handle it, but for now, I need you to let it go. Is that what you'll tell Elena? Let it go? Leave Elena out of this. I'm beginning to think Damon turned her. Because he was saying he didn't even have a body to, to bury. Have I seen you okay. in something? Oh. You haven't touched your tea. <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's just some herbal mixture. Vervain? You didn't invite me in. And you're serving Vervain tea, you know. I think that you should probably leave. Wait. What are you not telling me? Please. Leave. I thought that counted as an invitation. You don't strike me as somebody who gets depressed. You say that like you know me. No. It's just a hunch. You have a good afternoon. Not likely. You're on duty. There's a... A fundraiser here tonight that the Founders Council is throwing. The town's most eligible bachelors get raffled off for dates, and... Well, we're short of bachelor. Is this what you do when there's no, um... vampires? <laughs> Can you get information on someone for me? Laric Saltzman, the history teacher. There's just something a little off about him. And I just... I just want to make sure that the high school did their homework on this guy. You got it. Thanks. Oh, good. You didn't drink it. I didn't tell her anything. I, I kept my promise. Good. The girl, though, she, she knew something. That won't be a problem. She won't get any closer to the truth. No, I won't invite you in. You can't come in! I'm not a vampire, so yes, I can. No! No! I don't understand. I did what you told me. I did my part! And now I have to do mine. Ah! 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 
I mean, I feel a little bad. I feel kind of bad for this guy. As far as the vampires on this series have gone, he seemed pretty reasonable. I found out who my birth mother is. Ugh, who cares? She left you. She sucks. Stefan. There you are. This is... Lark's wife. This is her. This is Isabel. He gave this to you? Everything he knows about vampires, he learned from her. He believes it. She was killed by one. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm sorry for dropping it on you. But I felt like you should know. No, I get it. At some point, maybe you and Elena could talk. I'm sure she'd like to hear about Isabel. What she was like. Yeah. Uh, or not. No pressure. This is the woman, Isabel, from North Carolina. Remember her now? Who wants to know? I do. Who else wants to know? Did you kill her? Sorry. Don't know her. Hey, are you coming? He found his rebound girl. Here you go, sweetheart. However many that are mine. I just hope I don't get Bachelor 3. Dated him in high school. Not impressive. <laughs> I ran the check on the history teacher. You want this before or after your big debut? How's it look? He <laughs> checks out. A couple of speeding tickets. It's a rough story, though. Turns out his wife went missing a few years back in North Carolina. North Carolina? Mm. She have a name? Yeah. Isabel. I'm a teacher at Mystic Falls High. Oh, beauty and brains, ladies. What's, this what's one's a Damon's car. job? What do you teach? History. You like to travel? Oh, yeah. L.A., New York. A couple years ago, I was in North Carolina, near the Duke campus, actually. I think... I think Alaric went to school there. Didn't you, Rick? Yeah, because I'm... I know your wife did. I had a drink with her once. She was... She was a great girl. And now Elena... Are you okay? I just need some air. Okay. He doesn't know about the connection to you. I thought about confronting him, but he's already so on edge. Why are you protecting him? Because you're not the only one hoping that you might actually change. I saw that man outside of Trudy's. Get back inside. Come on. Congratulations, Mrs. Donovan. Okay, just stop. Stop trying so hard for this thing you're doing, this nice thing. It's fake, like you, like your mom. And for some reason, Matt fell for it, but that doesn't mean that I will. Did I forget to mention earlier when we were talking about my birth mother, the one that gave me up? Mm hmm Her name was Isabel. Go ahead. Reminisce about how you killed her. Stop looking. Stop looking for what? She doesn't want to know you. She doesn't want to talk to you. Isabel. You need to stop looking. Do you understand? She's alive? I'm done now. You know why? Uh, In front of a vehicle. Three, seven, six, four, nine. Oh, that's me. Congratulations. Well, that worked out. I mean, what's the point of this? You don't want kids. You're barely ever home. I just want us to be normal people. Maybe I don't want to. Maybe I want... more. Why are you really home, Mom? It's Pete. He's gone. And it's all my fault. I did it. I always do it. No, you didn't. It's not your fault. Yeah, probably. Partially is. Are you really this stupid? Guess so. Wow. It's courage. Where's Isabel? What have you done to my wife? Let me tell you I killed her. Will that make you happy? Because I think you know what happened. Not an inkling. <clears throat> Never considered the possibility. Turned her. I turned her. <laughs> Why? She came to me. All pathetic, looking for vampires. There was something about her. I guess she wasn't happy at home. Wasn't happy with life in general. Wasn't happy with you. This is a shame. 
Sounds like I got along. Which means I get to sit here and watch you die. Isabel came to me. She found me. And if she's related to Elena, I mean she's related to Catherine, maybe Catherine sent her to me. Stop it. You don't have to keep looking. It can't be a coincidence Isabel sought me out. Okay, yeah. Something didn't seem right. So what are you? You're not a vampire. <laughs> Isabel. Surprise gifts aren't fair. I always feel bad for not getting you something. Just open it. Oh, that's a giant piece of jewelry. <laughs> I know. It, it'll protect you from all the things that go bump in the night. This ring protected me. That's impossible. I know. Your ring protects you from the sun. What's the difference? Was there a problem? Did you find her? What's going on? I Isabel? Pearl! It's Harper. I'm glad you found us. I was kind of hoping you guys left, left town. Now I'm worried again that you're gonna get killed. I was thinking maybe that just, she got her mother and she left and we're never gonna see her again and she's fine. I mean, I don't mind seeing her again. <laughs> if they're gonna kill her, I hope they do it soon. I don't wanna be sitting here dreading it. It's kinda of like, just you know, just like, rip off the band-aid, just do it. Anyway, um, that was a little bit of a slow burn episode after the last couple. Not a complaint, though. Um, slow burn episodes are still, well, can still be fantastic. And that was that was still a good episode. Um, we learned that as long as Alaric has his ring, I guess he's immortal? Or at least, I don't know, maybe not immortal. Damon can't kill him. Maybe something else could like a disease or something i don't know uh i don't really know how powerful that ring is like if i don't know if the ring made him invincible or if the ring made him just vampire proof like he, he could still be killed by a gun or something um i don't know if we'll ever find out maybe he'd have to get shot and probably not by damon um He didn't know, though. He was shocked that he came back. I mean, he knew he had the ring, but he didn't believe that the ring was real. So he only kept it because it was a thing his wife got him and he still loved her. So she must have actually... If, if she got him something that powerful to protect him, she really must have cared. You don't, you don't get something like that for someone you don't care about. Unless you didn't believe it was real either, and you're just getting him a doofy-looking ring. Um, I'm worried about Anna. <laughs> and I shouldn't be, because she's not even... She's still an antagonist. Villain. She's a villain. She's evil. I don't care. She didn't get killed. Okay. I'm going to end this here. Um, good episode. Not as good as the last couple, but still good episode. Um, at this point, I'm assuming uh, we're going to interact. Well, not we're. Elena is going to have an interaction with Isabel before she has an interaction with Catherine. So probably by the end of the season, we will meet Isabel in the current t year, not just Alaric flashbacks. Uh... And we're probably not going to get to Catherine this season. Other than the flashbacks. Fla I'm not counting flashbacks. Um, 
Maybe I'm wrong, but at this point, I just don't think we're going to get to Catherine. This season. Not ever. I'm sure we're definitely going to... No, no spoiler for me to know that we're going to get to Catherine. Just the when would be the spoiler. So yeah, and this here, hopefully you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next episode.